Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I greatly appreciate you coming back to see what I'm up to. Well, today I just wanted to show you a couple of journals that I picked up. Um, this one was actually given to me and I've written down the information about the creator of the journal so that you could all um, see it. His name is John David Lowe. He has a website and a Facebook page for his journals, and that is Crooked Tree Cottage Creations. I believe he calls his books treasure books, and he lives in Maryland. This journal was actually given to me at a retreat that I went to by a wonderful, funny, inspiring woman, and I was quite surprised. Of all the people in the group she chose me to give this to now I have examined this cover many many times kind of looks like some washi tape some kind of tape that he has painted up to do the binding I can see where pieces of paper have been patched together I know this is a light switch plate because we have this exact plate at work. We have the flat switches that you just toggle up and down. I would say a piece of clay, maybe another piece of clay, a clay um, button, and the same on the back. Ah, probably some crackling paste that he has used and colored, and then a uh, graphic. So let's open it up. He has a piece of leather tie on it to secure it. Now, I've not done anything to it. I have to tell you, this journal is so beautiful to me that I really have not played in it. And plus, I've had a few other things to do. Um, another graphic inside that goes with the same theme. And now, to me, I believe he's just used like some marbled paper. Um, there's probably a fancier name for it. And then I'd say some probably scrapbook paper not a whole lot but for the most part the pages are plain that you can do your own journaling and I don't know I like it I like it that it's clean and crisp not a whole lot of stuff in it we all need journals like that we need to be able to write down lists or thoughts um, keep track of things all in one nice tidy little place and then here is the graphic on the back and then he has his book plate on it custom made in the USA crookedtreecreations.com artist John David Lowe so please go check him out and see if there's anything that he has done that's of interest to you I cannot tell you how much this cost because I don't know like I said, it was given to me. So that's the first journal I want to show you. Now the other journal I purchased recently on Esty. Someone had talked about this person, so I want to go and see what they had that I might be interested in. And what's so fun about this is that this gentleman has them all different prices. And believe it or not, he even has some on clearance. So this is how it came to me in bubble wrap, made in the USA, just, you know, plain old brown paper. Let's see if I can get it open here without totally messing it up. And what do I pick the biggest spatula of it? So let's see here. Yeah, I know I'm being probably a little bit too careful, but many of you understand this paper will need to be recycled, upcycled used again over and over maybe multiple projects <laughs> anyway so here we go this is the journal I chose I chose Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell what he does is he takes old books and does the um, Copic stitch on them this is the actual book cover and then inside a lot of plain paper again 
he gives you the bind the um yeah the binder the seam the bookend whatever of the book for you to have as a bookmark which i think is pretty cool and then throughout the book there will be some pages actually from the book and since i'm in georgia that is the one this is the reason why i chose gone with the wind it was a movie in 1939. I believe the book was written in 1938. Was that on that first page? Let's see. Yep, 1938. So, I don't know. I thought this was pretty cool. And again, there's a lot of places for you to write and journal and do. So, I don't know. I just... I really liked the idea of actually using the cover. Um, sometimes a bunch of stuff on on covers for me kind of get in my way. I, I carry a tote bag to work and, and different things that I do. And sometimes when I shove it in, things get caught. So I have to be a little bit careful that nothing really protrudes and can fall off, that the, the glue doesn't hold. But anyway, this was, again, like I said, on SD. And it is Renovated Books. His name is Michael, and he lives in Colorado. And that's about all I can really tell you about him. But go and check him out. He has a wide variety of books. I think when I looked last, he still had like 250-some um, choices. And, you know, these are then ones that you can make your own with what you do inside of them. And like I said, I know there's probably people out there that don't want all the fussy and they want journals that they can make their own, just have trouble with the covers. So this is pretty much that. And then I just have one more thing I want to show you. You know, I've mentioned a few times that I haven't been really going to the local craft store so much lately. It's probably been months for me since I've stepped in one of them. Yeah, I have bought things here and there from Amazon, and I recently bought a couple dies from Spellbinders online. But they pretty <laughs> they have to be pretty cheap, clearancy, or something I just really have to have. So I've not been spending a whole lot, and that was one of my goals for this year. I, I wouldn't say no that I wouldn't do, but I was trying to keep my spending to a minimum and use what I have. Um, which reminds me, um, you know, I've done pretty good. We'll get into that, you know, every first Saturday of the month a little bit more when I do my collaborative um, goals. But I, I'm sticking to it pretty well. But I did want to show you something that I did buy. And it was so funny. I went into Goodwill just to see if I could find any books that, you know, I wanted to tear up and use. And there was nothing. I, I've really, now the book, if I go to Goodwill, has to be amazing for me to purchase it, even at Goodwill. I have gotten so many books, and that's for another video. But I was walking right out the door, and the very end of a clothing rack were these two shirts. And let me see, let me maybe unlayer them here. I'm not sure how good I'm going to be able to do this on camera. But look at this. To me, if I, if I unstitch this, that right there is beautiful lace. Here is a little bit thicker that I figured I could use for a pocket. The top of the, the blouse you know, I, I'm not quite sure how I will maneuver that, but again, I'm going to figure out with this little netting, it's got to come off of there some kind of way. So I see a lot of possibilities with that one. And then the second one is a little bit different, but kind of the same. The bottom, the middle piece, and then where that one was v-necked, this one is scoop-necked, and... You know, it's got some pieces that I definitely can see that I can do something with. I mean, I see, you know, kind of a corner pocket right there. And, you know, I paid $2 a piece for these. Not bad if I had waited to the 
the day of the color yet yeah, could have gotten it half price but of course no guarantee it's there so anyway that's pretty much what I just wanted to chat with you today um, wanted to show you these journals and these creative gentlemen and you know tell you to go check them out um, we always are looking for you know inspiration and new ideas and I think these guys are hitting on something so anyway I will quit rambling now and if you would see that little picture of sissy down there in the corner click on that and subscribe to me if you haven't already and if you have please share my videos with your friends put them on your Facebook page you know have folks check me out I greatly appreciate it and I will see you all down the road Check you later. Bye-bye.